shower time. <laughs> Wherever I go, I will always know everything I need is right here with me. It's time to let it all go. So today we're going down to Santa Rosa on the scooter to the Apple store. We're going to try to replace my phone. I don't know if they have one in stock or if it even needs to be replaced or if they can fix it or pull the videos off of there or what. Um, but I'll tell you, being on the road, sometimes it's really hard to get a phone fixed or repaired because number one, you don't have an address to mail things. And number two, the closest uh, Apple store is currently an hour and a half away. And before that, it was like three hours away. So um, I been using Jacqueline's old Samsung phone uh, I want to say it's an s8 and it's really buggy and slow and like I'm sending out text messages to my friends and they're getting them days later <laughs> so it's been very frustrating uh, the camera's not really up to par on video um, it, it's really laggy and glitchy so I've been missing my phone for sure <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to get one again so hopefully this works. Wish me luck. And we're going to manifest a new phone being in my hand this afternoon. And then we're going to go around and film Santa Rosa. Uh, find out what is there to see in Santa Rosa. What is Santa Rosa all about? It's the attraction. Okay, so we went to the Apple store and they don't have a 512 gigabyte 13 Pro. So uh, we got to go down to the Porta Madera Apple store. And so that's 45 minutes away. So we're going to jam down there. The reason we're going to Porta Madera is because we don't have a mailing address for them to mail a new iPhone to, which is typically how they would do this. That's why it's been so long. It's been like three weeks that we've been trying to get this phone replaced, and it's just really hard to do these things on the road. So if anybody uh, comes up with a better system uh, to get mail on the road, we'll be forever thankful <laughs> to you. We decided to come out to the Tipsy Taco out here in Santa Rosa before heading down to the Bay Area to get next phone. So we're just gonna get a few tacos, something off the menu and then head south another 45 minutes i love that vespa man that 86 miles per gallon we can go anywhere enjoying the beautiful weather it's 82 degrees here in santa rosa it looks like we're not going to get a chance to tour santa rosa today unfortunately but we might get a chance to tour Parque madero which is right next to sausalito we were there recently we came full circle <laughs> We're kind of low budget here on Destination Now, so when we go out to eat, which is pretty rare, uh, when we do go out to eat, we typically just order one dish and split it, and this burrito is massive, so <laughs> I'm glad we split it. We're gonna have uh, some fun trying to finish this today. Burrito stood no chance. That's a good burrito. Jacqueline and I have been doing hot Pilates in the morning since we've been in Ukiah and uh, they cranked the temperature up to 105 degrees in the room with high humidity and work us to the bone and my appetite's been going way up so I'm gonna put some meat on these bones okay so we got Nick's phone fixed but unfortunately on our way here our Vespa started acting up it actually shut down on the freeway. We thought it was overheating and then it was still continuing to act funny all the way here for the last 20 miles. So we're going to do a check on that. We think it might be low oil, hopefully. Um, the Westford dealership here in the Bay Area uh, can't take us till Saturday, which is four days from now. And this is a pretty far drive. We have a three hour ride back home. We're hoping it's something as simple as just topping off the oil so we can 
make it back there safely before dark. Hey, Yay. so this is Susanna. She uh, she works at the Apple store. We uh, just got our phone replaced and we're currently recording on it. And thank you for that. And uh, she's giving us a ride down to the motorcycle shop to get some oil for our Vespa. <laughs> I mean, what kind of customer service is that? That is absolutely amazing. She deserves some. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're giving her some cash for sure. No, 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 I don't Oh, you're so sweet. I can help human beings if you need a little help. Susanna is a wonderful human being, and we're so thankful to have uh, had her in our lives to touch us. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. And you have a YouTube channel too. I do. Susanna Perry. Here, I'll give you my card. Okay. All right. So the link is right here up in the corner for Susanna Perry's YouTube channel. Check it out. Awesome. And send her a thank you for us. We got our oil at the Ducati dealership and uh, Susanna kindly, I tried to pay her for giving us a ride over here and she said, no, 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 let me pay you. <laughs> so she kindly gave us 20 bucks. Thank you so much, Susanna. Your kindness means the world to us. We've have been having such a difficult day. <laughs> that just, that helped us out so much. So, man, there's a lot of good people out there in the world and we are just so thankful for every one of them and we're gonna pay this forward in every way that we possibly can. So now we gotta make it the three and a half miles back to the uh, Apple store to get our bike and put our oil in it and hopefully it fires up and gets us all the way back to Ukiah which is like a two or three hour drive from here. <sighs> See what happens. <laughs> Wish us luck guys. Right, so we made it to our Uber and we are headed back to the Apple store. Hopefully that bike fires up. <laughs> <laughs> Bone dry. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Sweet, thank you. <laughs> oh, yes. It's perfect size. <laughs> we don't even need the cup. Something's going our way. <laughs> Apparently, this O ring here. Needs to be replaced. Oh. Uh, every oil change. It's still dry. Man, that was really dry. And apparently, that might have been the place where the oil was going. Oh, cat. Hey! I think we're there. So, we gotta run it for five minutes. Let's uh, wipe it off and double check. Okay. This stuff is exactly at the right time. Cool, because overfill is bad too, supposedly. That took. So we know for the future. Oh my gosh. Out of 32 ounces, I have let's see, 8 ounces left. 24 ounces? It took 24 ounces. That's a lot. That's I didn't cool. even think 24 ounces would fit in this bike. Hopefully we didn't break it. Yes, we will. Yes, it will. Okay. So we didn't check the oil because we're currently in Ukiah where there is no flat ground. Anybody that has ever been to Ukiah understands what I'm talking about. It's hard to check your oil when there's no flat ground. If you guys have any tricks for checking your oil when there's not flat ground, let me know. I'm happy to hear it. All right, let's see if she fires up. Come on, baby. Yes. She sounds bad. Well, good news. We made it back home. In one piece, uh, the Vespa ran great. Sounds like the valves are a little out of adjustment, so I'm gonna grab a filler gauge and see if I can adjust the brakes. Why did I say brakes? I'm tired. tired. I'm really, really, really tired. I'm gonna try to adjust the valves. I think that's gonna be the, the right solution. It's like there. 10 o'clock, we're having dinner now. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day. I'm just happy to have my phone back. I'm happy that the Vespa made it back here. Turns out they run pretty good without any oil in them. Who knew? 
I don't recommend it though. It's probably not good for them. <laughs> so we're gonna make sure and keep that thing topped up because apparently those things burn a lot of oil. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time. Later, Gator. Interested in joining our travel crew? Head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. All proceeds go towards bringing better content to you. Thank you for watching this episode. We really appreciate every view. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure. Thanks for watching, guys.